Hello everyone and welcome to my second redstone tutorial. And this is in this tutorial we'll be going over the basics of redstone wire and repeaters. So first off, what a repeater is is it just takes a current and boosts it. So redstone wire by nature, it can only travel 15 of these wire block things. So you can have a repeater at the end of it and you can have it go for another 15 blocks. So you can have redstone wire going on for long distances. Now another function of redstone repeaters is they have a delay mechanism. So the power goes in and a few ticks later the power will go out. So you can adjust it by right clicking this block. The closer the torches are, the lesser the, the, the delay is. So another function of these repeater blocks is they're a one way current. So say this area right here is the output. When input is put through here, output will be put out through here. So you so basically you cannot have something going in the output area and going out the back the input. That also works for the sides, which aren't used for output or input. You can also stack you can also line up these repeater blocks like this. So you can have, you can, instead of wire, you can have repeater blocks if you wanted. These are good for, if you need a longer delay, you can have these lined up like that and have a long, long delay if you want. So a great function with repeaters is they can send redstone signal through a block. So the power goes on and the signal travels through this block and into this wire. So here's the same exact thing with no block. The signal is not transferred into this wire. So here we go. You can have repeaters side by side. So say what, what this is good for is say you have something hmm. How about pistons? That's new. Say you have two pistons side by side, and you have some redstone, and you have a little, whatever, a lever, um, item, what is it, 69, and as you can see, by nature, it does not curve into this block, because every, for a piston, the current needs to be directly into the block like that. So you need you cannot have these side by side and just use redstone. Now we're gonna be going over more pistons in the future, but for now I'm just gonna show you the, the basic application of repeaters with pistons. So you can have two repeaters side by side, and since by nature it curves the redstone into it. So there we go. Now both of these are going directly into the piston. So that's how that works. So right here we're just showing that. If you also have a torch on a block next to a repeater, it will turn that torch off, and will also send the signal through the block, like showed as shown earl as shown earlier. So there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, this is my second redstone tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. This was from a user's comment. I mean, a viewer's comment. <laughs> excuse me, on how they wanted to learn, how they needed a good tutorial on redstone. Wiring now. Right now, I'm going over the what, basically, not the uses, but what these can do, like kind of the definitions, um, the basic things. Like these are all building blocks, and you can put these all these different functions together and make one giant awesome thing, which I do in many of my videos. If you want to subscribe, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. <laughs> So yes, of course, for my final episode, our final few episodes, I will be doing a practical uses episode, I guess. Um, what that means is I'll be taking all the stuff I taught you guys and putting it into like an awesome dungeon or something cool like that and showing you some cool stuff you can do with it, basically. So I guess uh, thank you for watching. If I haven't said it already, please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps me out. So thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon.